Okay. Everybody there? Are we ready to go? Ladies and gentlemen, from sunny, a little chilly, Southern California, it's the Suzanne Summer Show. And here she is. Pardon? That was a little bit of a different uh, presentation. I'd like to shake it up a little. I know. Yeah. I know. So, um, you Welcome know. to our friends on Instagram and also on Facebook tonight. And I think uh, there are some other platform. Platform. As that's, you know, a, that's one of the new words. Oh, it's not new anymore. No. It used to, you know, no. Very soon. Streaming. Okay. It that's be another the holiday word. of my people. Then there's woke. Oh, that's right. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that's um, right. Yeah. Soon to be St. Patrick's Day, thus the green, and thus the green that matches this special thing that we're going to have. That our is beautiful. Susan I've never seen that Lex. before. Um, but, oh gosh, that feels good. I use the one that punches holes in my face. Well, that's this end, and it doesn't punch holes. Hi, huh? Caroline. Oh, well, hello, you look gorgeous. Okay. You're on I try. Um, feels good, good, doesn't it? Yeah. We're going to talk a lot about the Jay Roller tonight, which is in the Suzanne's box. But uh, Alan was just talking about circulation. Man, this feels good. And then you keep it in the freezer if you want, so that oh, what great a great idea! Um, it's real cold. It's great for like, what's that know? other one we have called? Uh, yeah. Oh, I, oh, that's the micro. Needle micro needle. Yeah, I can't yeah. stop using it. I know. Well, the micro, that one's for cold. This one is for puffiness circulation. Oh. Sure well, if you don't have the oh, one, if good. you don't have the one for collagen, you, Do you, you should get. It, okay. We were in China. And by the way, can I explain this? Oh, I'm sorry. This yes. is, I think, I believe, this is the explanation okay. why it's for collagen. Okay. Because okay? it's got a million little needles, tiny. You can't really feel them, and you roll that thing on your face. And I'm addicted to it. I saw when I'm sitting there working, I've got this rolling thing going up and down my face, but creates all these maybe hundreds of little wounds and the collagen comes to save them. Oh. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Why do you think that's a great explanation except that's not what's in the box today. No. No, that's not what's it has in the box. Nothing to do, ladies and gentlemen. No, but I just thought I'd do this. No, I thought I would just do a little you side selling. The other, uh, yeah. That's that right. Have, which if you don't have it you should have. get it. Yeah. Yeah, wait till you see how beautiful I am. I use Constantly. Yeah, but you didn't wear any green tonight, so you can't be on camera tonight. Oh, you're right. He came as scuzzy out tonight. You're right. I know. Yeah. You know, it's a show day, Al. You know? Okay. Yeah. Well, you so, know, it's just that I didn't have time today. I was busy. We had a busy day. We had a busy day. And, you know, yeah. I'll just come and say hello to the folks, and then they'll know how scuzzy I am. Okay? So you look scuzzy, but okay. he's my scuzzy. Here he is. Okay. Here so you are. it's one of those scuzzy no, days. I know. Okay. And You're cool, see, Al. I haven't shaved for a couple of days. I know. Okay. I know. And my hair, huh? I know. But yeah. it clearly has not affected your confidence. No. No. <laughs> no. And yesterday, we walked up and down the hill, and I, I was halfway up. I'd already been there. And I looked down, and here's this guy. He's 84 years old. Barely up the hill. And it's, it's like this. I was really impressed. Really impressed. I did it to impress you. Well, I was impressed, and yeah. now I'm telling them. Yeah. I'm looking at this jade at the end of the jade roller, which um, do try it once if you're going to get Suzanne Select's box. I know you will. Try that. And and put it in the freezer. But I remember, remember when we were in China, and I saw this beautiful necklace. Oh, so beautiful! It was just like a string of pearls, but it was green and it was jade. And I went, oh, we're in China, and it's a jade necklace, and oh, and oh, and and so I said. How, how, how much is that necklace? And she said, $30,000. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> I, I did not come home with the necklace. But when I was at home shopping, we replicated that necklace and did it for, I think, you know, ten ninety nine or something. Plus should be an end. No, when we were in yeah. Paris on our honeymoon, oh, yeah. we went to, I think it's called the Mate Gallery, M-A-U-G-H-T, something like that. And reasons we weren't planning on buying any art, but we fell in love with this Chagall. So I asked Suzanne Why not? if she would figure out what, what's that in, you know, those Franks. Those Franks in American money, so she figured it out. 
and it was $35,000. And a uh, hundred years ago, $35,000 was real money. It still is. And we talked about it. And, but it's well, an investment, it's our, it's our, and it's our money moon, and, and we'll have forever. Money, and, you know, let's get it. So I said to the lady, the sourpuss lady, <laughs> uh, we would like to take the Chagall. And suddenly, I mean, she became Pinky Lee. <laughs> She's jumping around the room and getting sent. She's well going to have to come back with a special packet and blah, blah, blah for shipping. Okay. So we go to pay. And uh, so she writes down a number of francs. And I said, Keith, would you mind uh, putting that into US dollars? And she did. And it wasn't $35,000, it was $350,000. And so Pinky Lee went, went back to. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Or she give it a nice inheritance for our kids. Well, sorry. <laughs> you, know know what? Now, you know what? People. Yeah, today it'd be actually worth yeah. like three million or more. I'm sure. People, yeah, it was a good people, one. Uh, what was I going to say? People. People. The people are the luckiest people in the world. Okay, well, I have to go back to my station now. Yeah. Well, okay. well, while Alan is going back to the station, for those of you who are new, I'm just going to tell you what everyone's so excited about. Today. Listen to her. Suzanne has a subscription box on Suzanne Selects. So what you're seeing here is the brand new March box. So she takes us through every month, toward the beginning of the month, she takes us through the box and she shows us all the surprises that come in it. So if you become part of the subscription, you get this box every month for only $39.99. It's always worth at least $125, and you always get it for $39.99, but she has something new in it every month, so we're excited to hear what Suzanne has in store for March. And also, you know, the reason we can, you know, sell it this cheap is because all this stuff fell off the back of a truck one day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? Stole it. <laughs> we we this want is you. Our line. These are for those full. of you who are new to the show. <laughs> A couple of times on every. No, but I can't help myself. But I always point okay. it out, so it's like. It's but we don't. Line. Yeah, we don't send out samples. These are full size things, okay? Yeah. And we know that once you try them, you're going to come back and visit our website and become a member of the Suzanne family. Well, let me show you what's in it. Okay. And then we can just pull up. Okay. Okay. So, well, the first thing is we've got the everyday cleanser. Uh, uh, you used it. You loved it. Do you all remember those who have been following me for a long time? No, that's not it, Ellen. It's not? This is the everyday cleanser. Oh, right. right. Well, I was close. There were two things yeah. there, and I chose the wrong okay. thing. Totally different bottle. Okay. Um, I, I had this on uh, Shop NBC. I'm going to put this up your nose. Which became Shop which became Shop HQ. Okay. But I was on with Kimberly Walls, who's such a doll. And um, Kimberly middle of our show says, and at the end of the show, Suzanne and I are going to use the everyday cleanser to take off all our makeup. And I looked at her like we are. Okay, all right. So this is, it's olive-based and it's just loaded with the most, uh, this is the best cleanser. I never was a cleanser girl, but this is the best cleanser I've ever used. Oh, and, and you're probably going, oh yeah, because you sell it. Honestly, uh, it, it just is. And by the time my products get to this point where they're packaged up and everything. We've gone through all the different incarnations of it until I go, oh, that's it. So this is, it's got no chemicals uh, or emulsifiers. It's pure nutrition in olive base, loaded with antioxidants like Brazilian pepper tree, removes dirt oil, uh, removes eye makeup. That's the thing I wanted to tell you. So I look over at Kimberly and we're planning on making a organic uh, eye makeup removal because you know, that's part of the ritual of all of us every day. I look over at her and she's got the everyday cleanser. You know, what I love about Kimberly is she's egoless, all over her face and all over her eyes. And I'm looking at her, rubbing on her eyes. And I thought, oh, she's probably going to be sorry she's doing that. Her eyes are going to get all red and puffy and stingy and watery. But I look over and they're not red and stingy and red and watery and puffy or anything. And that's and I realized, right, uh, with all with the olive base and all the emulsifiers, it loosens up mascara, it loosens up all your eye makeup, 
but it has no chemicals in it. What the reason when you use eye makeup removers and they say be careful on the lids, the lids are so sensitive and that's what gets puffy. Uh, but when you use the everyday cleanser all over your face eyes and then take a, a, a warm steaming washcloth and put it over and just wipe it all off. It's incredible and it, it, ta it removes a step and at night when you're going to bed isn't it great to just have one step rather than cleanser and then the eye makeup remover. So this is uh, everyday cleanser. I use it every morning and every night to clean my face. It feels great. Also removes the step of taking off your eye makeup because this takes off your eye makeup without irritating your eyes. Yay! That's such a win-win-win. Okay, so that's the first thing that's in the box. The second is, I don't know if we've ever offered this size before. This is our um, mega-sized bioactive moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. You do too. This is incredible. The reason I love it is one of its main ingredients is CoQ10. And I think CoQ10 is a miracle in a capsule. Uh, uh, that's an over-exaggeration. There are no miracles, they tell me. But I, I, to me, it's like the most incredible thing. Let me just go through it. You and I are approximately 60 to 70 trillion cells. That's what a human being is. The cell has an outer layer. The outer layer is essential fatty acids. Um, bye! <laughs> In the center is the mitochondria, that's your energy. That's why when you get older, you kind of shuffle across the street. And that's why when you're young, your skin is all pink. And you know when your grandchildren or children come inside from playing and they're, they're all flushed and pink? That's because they're making tons of CoQ10, which stimulates the mitochondria in the middle of each cell. But the mitochondria uh, gets its fuel from CoQ10. It's like the ripcord on a uh, outdoor motorboat. I know that because we used to have one and that was my job, pulling the ripcord. And that's what makes it uh, gear up. And so this is what stimulates the energy in the middle of your cells. So why do you care in a moisturizer? Well, the skin is all cells, right? And in every cell is the energy center. And you want to have healthy, glowy, red, uh, not red, but uh, pink and, and great looking skin, you need the CoQ10 component. So that's the main ingredient in the bioactive moisturizer. But wait, there's more. There's more, and if I was not... While you're looking at that, I'll just tell you, you have hundreds of people jumping in to say how much they love your everyday cleanser and the bioactive moisturizer. These are two of Suzanne's original skincare products. It's what sold her on the line. Mm -hmm. And they've been around forever, and it's kind of like a cult following just based on these two items in here. And it is the that's a 1.7 ounce bioactive moisturizer, so it is a it's a huge size. You can use this day or night. It's just amazing. This this is amazing moisturizer. We have other moisturizers, but I never let go of this one. These, these, she's right. These are two originals, mainstays, incredible. So it's. CoQ10, it's argan oil, it's beet tree bud, sea buckthorn berry, uh, which has essential fatty acids, three, six, seven, and nine. Essential, you need to know what essential means. It means it's, it's essential to life, but we don't make it in our own bodies. We've got to get it from the outside. So we're providing it for you. And um, I can't say enough about this moisturizer. They're all- it's just, it's just the right weight. The right weight, it doesn't get greasy, it doesn't build up on your skin, it's um, fun to put and, on. It really moisturizing. Yeah, it's really moisturizing. And by the way, yeah, for our French audience, uh -huh. it's creme et traitement bioactif. Cha okay. cha cha. All right, yeah, and you guys are not aware of Sam's line, she doesn't use any pet, she doesn't use any parabens, nope. she doesn't use any chemical emulsifiers. She uses real nutrition in her products, and so they actually moisturize your skin. They actually feed your skin this good hydration, and that's what she's known for. If these are incredible products, says the woman who's, it's her company, but these are incredible products. Okay, now, this may not seem like a big deal, but it is. Uh, the equivalent of this that you get at the checkout stand at the supermarket ain't this. That has petroleum in it. Hmm, wonder why. Anyway, 
Um, when you use that stuff that you get at the supermarket, and when I used to use it, because my lips are always dry because I spent half my life in the desert, now most of my life in the desert, um, you put their, their stuff on and because there's petroleum, you know, gasoline in it, it dries out your lips. It's got all the wax in it, but it dries out your lips and then you have to reapply. You notice when you use the other stuff, you reapply all day long. Most people keep it in their pocket. You'll be talking to men too, they're always doing this. You won't find you're doing with this because, well, there's no gasoline or petroleum in this. I don't even know what that thinking is. But it's also loaded with um, shea butter. This is the one that has the puasu in it. Uh, let me see. I should know all this stuff off the top of my head, but I have a thousand yeah. products. Avocado butter, shea butter. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah kapuasu and takuma from the have you been to the Amazon lately? If so, maybe you brought home some kukuzu and, <laughs> and chikuba. But if you haven't been there, uh, we've got it in our uh, ingredients here. And um, it's a, we call it exotic jungle butters. Uh, shea butter, kukuzu, chikuba. Debbie Gwynn, Argan oil. Sente said, OMG, I am applying that on my lips right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, I have, if you open, my drawers in my kitchen are very organized, very. And I've got everything in little compartments. I have a little compartment for um, lip balm, because I never want to be without it. And I don't like to share my lip balm. So if somebody asks me if I have it, I give it to them and I say, keep it. Um, anyway, so that's the other thing. So, so far we've got the large everyday cleanser. We've got the first time ever large bioactive moisturizer. We've got the everyday cleanser and now, Yeah, we have, we're, eight, we're having dinner with them after the show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I tell you the truth. You know that. You've got to know that by now. I've got your back. I tell you the truth. And um, I had a long talk with somebody today about um, the bioidentical hormone movement, which, um, not to pat myself on the back, but I really did start the bioidentical hormone uh, uh, movement in this country of something I am so proud of. That, and also I am one of the original... Um, Founders, founders of the adult children of alcoholics. But you became CEO, I think, president or CEO. Uh, and then you were invited to join the board. No, of, that's the Psychiatric Association. Yeah, but first you were, you were CEO of adult children of alcoholics. Yeah, right. And then you were invited to sit on the board of the American Psychiatric uh, Association. Uh, uh, and there, I don't know how many psychiatrists, there were a lot of them on that board. And I used to tag along and what I found really interesting. For every psychiatrist in the room, there were three separate opinions. <laughs> it yeah. Was, yeah, it was They're a really, dysfunctional group, those it, psychiatrists. It, well, that's probably why they, they became psychiatrists. Right. I just knew but they're interesting I'm digressing because we've got one more product in this box. Let me talk about this and then I, I want to go back to adult children of alcoholics and uh, to the bioidentical hormone movement. Do you um, think there's a connection between wanting to talk about uh, alcoholism to uh, St. Patrick's Day show that we're doing? Yes, because I'm not an alcoholic. Pardon? I'm not an alcoholic. No, but do you think there's a connection between the fact that you know, we're talking about St. Patrick's Day and alcoholism? And you told uh, me probably, that. Probably, yes. You told me Irish, the yeah. Irish, you know, own that gene. We do. Yeah. We do. It's so, uh, any, any Irish person that I've ever talked to, it, it seems to come up. Let me just finish what's in the box. Okay is the J dual roller, dual action roller. Okay, it comes in this nice box, but this is, you're gonna like this. I would put it in the freezer when you get it. And then you have this J on the end that you roll under your eyes where you have sort of that puffiness. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> right. oh. Three sips in a, in a hiccup. Right, God's talking. <laughs> Uses with this with the jade roller is either one of her serums or the bioactive moisturizer, which you're getting in this kit. Yeah, and I think the bioactive moisturizer is incredible. So this is just to like calm down the puffiness. 
inside what it's going to do. You know, it's a great idea putting that in the freezer first. Yeah, but this this end, the studded end, that's when you put the bioactive moisturizer on your face and then just do this to let it, it will improve the circulation and allow that bioactive moisturizer to get in there more better, more better. Hey, Suzanne, um, some of your friends would like to know if you could include that pretty jade and diamond necklace in the box. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is very pretty, isn't it? It's, um, it is. It's emerald and diamonds. It's, I thought today's the day. I wear it at Christmas and I wear it around St. Patrick's Day. And I've had it for maybe 30 or more years. So when you figure out what it costs you to wear it twice a but, year. But I bought it when one of my books sold a million copies and became another of my bestsellers. And I, whenever I have a, a New York Times bestseller, I buy myself something wonderful. But really, I bought it because Alan had bought me years ago these, I don't have them on tonight because I have this nerve damage still and I can't get some of my earrings in, but he bought me these beautiful drop jade earrings. Just simple. He's, his taste is very clean and simple. It's a drop that hangs down with the diamond on the ear. And, I, and it was so beautiful and I, and it was plain and I needed, I needed a necklace to go with it out. And then there's the um, bracelet that goes with it. So, I don't things very often but I'm glad you know them and it is the right thing to wear them. So anyway, so now you know what's in the box. And you those of you who have the subscription, you know how fun it is to get a present every month. And um, you can cancel at any time, so I'm told. This is not like you sign up and then you're stuck forever. No. But um, it's really fun to get a present in the mail and when yeah. you open and you can get it if you want you if you can't swing it every month you can get it every other month or you can do that get it every three months. And then see you getting it every other month. And then you look at the show one night and go, oh, but I wanted that one. You can have that one too. Just, you know, let them know. We, we uh, are an uncomplicated small business. And by the way, you know, one thing that we promise not to do and will never do, sometimes, you know, when they're on television, they say, uh, you know, we have 500 free bottles, so call this 800 number right now. And so you call the number, they send you a complimentary bottle, and then every week or every oh, month, so awful, yeah. your credit card gets dinged. Yeah. And that happened to me once. Me and too. I called up, and the guy said, okay, so we'll uh, reduce it by 50. I said, I'm not interested in the product. I was just curious. He said, well, uh, tell me how much you're willing to pay. I said, I don't want Product. I said, so uh, you sent me three that I didn't want, so deduct that from my credit card. And he, said, well, he put me on hold and he came back and he said, we won't be able to do that, sir. And I said, fine, I'm calling the Better Business Bureau. <laughs> and he said, put me on hold again. And when he came back, he said, sir, we will reverse those charges on the credit card. So That's terrible business practice. By the way. I know, yeah. but if you get that, yeah. it's a hustle. When you get that, yeah. threaten to call the Better Business Bureau. Okay, but we don't. That. We don't do that. Um, the moment you say, I'm not interested, it's over. Yeah, and, and there's also, you know, you have your own account, you can log in and change it yourself. But if you just call the customer service number or email customer service, they'll, they'll get back to you and take care of it. Because, you know, sometimes when you have an account set up, not everyone knows how to get into their account and how to change these things. Easy for some people, not so easy for others. That's why we always have a live representative during business hours. Thank God. Um, yeah. So, you have the option. Okay. It's all on Suzanne's website. Go to suzannesource.com and you can learn more about Suzanne's Soul. I'm very proud of our uh, company. We're, we're a good company. We, I believe that we do it right. We don't, we don't BS anybody. We don't cheat anybody. You, want, you, you don't like it. You can, we'll refund it. So, we're so proud of the products that we're bringing to you. And I really believe that they are um, uh, imperative. Help. That's my opinion only. I was not a claim. Well, it's my opinion too. <laughs> but everything of ours, like in this box here, nothing will harm you. There's nothing there to harm you. Nothing. Nothing. All it is is to delight you. And in, the, in these hard times we're all going through right now, how delightful to get a present every month. Really, really, it's just so great. In this lovely yellow box and picture of me here. This dress, by the way, I wonder what this sold for. I sent all, oh, just a ton of clothes to 
this uh, store down the street here called, excuse me, Revivals. And every You're going to see someone in a cow wearing that dress. I am. I am. And um, I, my, we have a, a smoothie kicked up every morning of celery juice because I like to have my gut renew and I like to have a glass of celery juice. And I should make my own, but I don't like it. But anyway, this guy who works on the property here was there and he said they had a sign up in the window. 9.30, the Suzanne Summers collection is for sale. He said there were over 100 people waiting outside the front door. Yeah, I want to get, I have that picture. I'm going to find yeah, that's, that picture. that was kind of fun. But anyway, everything goes to the Desert Age product, uh, project, and they do such great work here, and they've got this great medical center and hospital, and I, I really utilize it myself for other things, getting testing done. For hemorrhoids, right? The hemorrhoids. For my hemorrhoids. Yeah, Isn't hemorrhoids. That's yeah. so great. Yeah. Hey, hey, speaking of which, um, not to change the subject. Yeah, let's not. Um, for those of you who, who have signed up for Suzanne's doing an amazing seminar tomorrow with yeah. Dr. Terry Hurtog. Mm -hmm. It starts at 11 a.m. It's a free seminar. You can still sign up for that. So we're going to post that information again right after the show. Um, yes, so if, you, if you are uh, able to tune into this, um, Dr. Terry Hurtog is probably the most prominent uh, endocrinologist in the world, I think. That's true. And he has made such a mark in Europe. He's from uh, Brussels. But also he's third generation, third generation endocrinology. He said he grew up at the dinner, dinner table with two <laughs> endocrinologists I'm talking right. about right. stuff. Right. Yeah. And I asked him a question today. I was doing a, a back and forth with him and I asked him something. He said, check your thyroid. You may be a little low in thyroid. And how thyroid's everything. Thyroid's right here. Thyroid's the orchestra leader. Thy, the, the cells all talk to one another, but it's the thyroid that says, you do this and you do this and you do this and you do this. So anyway, he has put together a seminar of the most prominent um, integrative and alternative doctors in the world. And I am so proud that I'm included as one of the guest speakers tomorrow. So, uh, who knew? Who knew? How you great. know, I'm, I am um, a, a living example of you can self-educate, and I am self-educated. You are you are autodidactic. I am autodidactic. Yeah. If you didn't know what that meant, you'd think maybe. You, you find uh, your lane of passion, and then you learn every thing about it and that's what I have done in I've got a few lanes but the bioidentical hormone movement and you all know those of you who are on bioidentical hormones I totally get how that works that's what I did with you what? I found my passion you did and then I wanted to learn everything I could about that passion I love you Al there's still a few things that I'd like to talk to you about oh okay yeah um, well you may I know. I that. have no no-go areas. I know that. At all. I know at all. that. I know that. Yeah. I'm not mysterious. I. Uh, I know that. I love all of you. I know that sounds weird. I don't know you, but I, I know that you know that I've got your back. And um, what do you do with what I was able to achieve, which is a louder voice? Do you use it for your personal gain? Or do you find a way to use it for the better good of the all? And that's what I really try to do. It actually makes me emotional when I talk about it. Uh, when I started the bioidentical hormone movement, nobody had the backs of women. Nobody. Nobody. And you go to the doctor, and I remember one doctor patted me on the back said the drug companies know best dear. And when you need drugs, you need them. They're godsend. And I believe in integrating. But I remember saying to this doctor, really? Is this the best you have to offer women? Really? Really? Are we are we sentenced to a life of, I call the seven dwarves, itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up? Are we, are we sentenced to that? And being able to turn all of you on to Hormone replacement because when like I was talking about somebody who uh, used to work for us and it's so buried so far back they'll never be able to figure out who it was. But she had a hysterectomy at 31. And at 31 they took everything out, which is all her hormone making machinery. 
no one ever talked to her about replacement. They just, you know, uh, have a nice life. Well, at 50, this woman was so scatterbrained and so all over the place and had strange kind of mental uh, diseases like hoarding and things like that that you go, you're, you're bought. 40 bags of rice. Why are you buying more rice? I, I, I felt badly for her. I did too. I yeah. did too. And there was no, she couldn't think anymore. So there was no turning her on to it. Yeah. And so if I've been able to open your eyes even a little bit to the, the joys of replacement, and that's so much of what this most recent book I wrote, if you haven't read it, it's really worthwhile. A new way to age. I always say that uh, aging is about worn out parts. That the body has a language, the body's telling you all the time, if you're hot, or you're sweaty, or you're moody, or your hair's not looking good, or whatever, that's the body going, you're missing something, you've got to figure out what you're missing, and usually you can find out what you're missing through lab work and a qualified doctor. And um, I, if you've been helped in any way, uh, then I have purpose, and that is what brings me my satisfaction and pleasure in life. And so when I say I love you, I do. I, I never plan to be famous. I never plan to um, become anything. I just I want to be a weather girl so I could make enough money to feed me and Bruce. They should have hired you. Huh? They should have hired you. Should have hired me, When yes. you did that audition, was it Westinghouse in, San, in Oakland or San Francisco? San Francisco, KGO. Yeah. And you, no, it wasn't okay, KGO. Yeah, yes. Okay. IX, okay. They auditioned you when you were like 19 years old, okay, with wearing the Indian fabric top with no bra. And no, I didn't. I wore the Jack's dress because Jacqueline Kennedy had oh, her shirt dress. Maybe that's Jack. why you didn't get the job. No, it was it was um, that um, soft t-shirt jersey fabric. Okay, then she had the little finger pointing and she pointed to the map and say, well, it's going to get cold up here, okay? I didn't know what I was talking about. And then down here, it's going to be a little warm. I thought, this is such a radiant <laughs> ratings generator, okay? They should hire this yeah. person. They, they were mortified by, oh my God. And yeah, put her on every long night long. in prime time. <laughs> they'll double their TV audience. But you're, you're, um, you're a visionary. And you're no, all I had to do was look at the screen and think, this is great TV. Does he love me? Okay. Great TV. This guy loves me. That's what it is. Yeah. What we're but, doing but all, right now is great TV. This is great. <laughs> all these years later, I now in, in my 70s, and I look back at when I was 19 and trying out for the Weather Girl. Honestly, they should have hired me just because I was young and stupid. It was perfect. And they would have made fun of me, and I would have been okay with it because I just wanted to make $300 a week. That's all I wanted. I, I, I thought if I could make $300 a week, There'd be enough food. I could pay my rent. I wouldn't have a landlord mad at me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know what? That sort of thing generates survival skills. Yeah. Because you had to survive. I had to survive. And you did. I know what you did. You did everything you could to make a few bucks here and a few bucks there. I and wasn't a hooker. <laughs> you weren't a hooker, and you survived. And Bruce had no idea that you were no. poor. Poor. When, when Bruce poor says, I was a poor mom. I go, yeah. oh, that's so good. What poor? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you had like, I, I remember one night you had a buck and a half, period. And that was it between you and no dinner. Mm. Right? There were a lot of nights like that where I had, if I had a dollar yeah. and a half. You know, um, but also, you have to, you know, the, the other thing, you know, the first apartment we shared together, uh, it was 200 bucks a month. Bruce still traumatized by it. Well, oh my. Because you sold all my clothes. Well, you have to do what you have to do. To pay the $200 a month rent. She sold my clothes. I had a cashmere suit lined in silk. Gone. There's some guy running around in L.A. saying, Hey, I own uh, Alan Hamill's uh, cashmere suit. <laughs> well, that's going to be fun around town here, seeing people walking around in my clothes. Right. Right. And you know what? I'm so happy for them. Yeah. Because they're great clothes, and yeah. I'm sure they they sold them for the right price. You know, yeah. they're used clothes. When I send them over there, I don't clean them. I don't iron them. I think you're getting all my wardrobe 
you could right. figure out something right. to the cleaners and get them all pressed right. and everything like that. Yeah. You know, we should save up the uh, ball gowns and the cocktail dresses until just before Halloween. Because Halloween and Palm Springs okay, yeah, is yeah. like unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. But actually, I have all those clothes from the um, 80s, um, all those designer clothes. I think I'm going to give them to the Los Angeles Museum. That's um, a good idea. Yeah, the whole Richard Tyler collection and the Leslie Hamill collection. And I'm, the thing about clothes right now, they're all the, there's no place to wear anything. The most dressed up I get is for you, you know, three times a week, and there's no place to wear anything. But the other night, I will will change. Don't give up those couture pieces. Okay. Well, I haven't. They're there. They're there. Yeah. No, you're gonna want those. Yeah. Well, I value them. They're so beautiful. They're each works of art, and so I kept them all together. Okay. Can I interrupt you? I just want to yeah. say. Yeah. What? Okay. What? This is Su Suzanne Select. Oh yeah. The box. This is a subscription oh, box that goes well, on once a month. Oh, okay. You can, oh, oh. Did you drop that your thing again? I did. No, not again. The first time tonight. You're going to have to get on your knees. Yeah, well, I'm used to that. <laughs> I'll cover you out. Uh, we have some new people who have arrived late, and they're just dying to see what's in Suzanne's subscription box this month. It's called Suzanne's Flex. Mm -hmm. uh, so she'll take you through and show you what's in it. Every month, you can get this box. It's always thing in my ear That's how and the other night it stayed in after the show you know when I had, had booked too much and I then we're going out to dinner to our favorite restaurant and so I sit down at our table with our uh, three other friends and all of a sudden this white thing falls out of my ear I can't believe it stayed in that whole time okay here's what's in the okay. box is it our greatest product or is the age of Sarah the greatest this is one up there in the top 10 of, of our greatest products. Everyday cleanser, which is a tour, because it not only removes your makeup, and not only wakes up your skin in the morning, you can take off your eye makeup with it all at the same time. You're doing the two steps in one. This is awesome, awesome, okay. The next thing is, the first time we ever offered the large size bioactive moisturizer with the CoQ10 in it. CoQ10 is what will keep your skin pink and fresh and alive and beautiful. And then, where's the lip, oh, okay, there it is. And then there's the lip balm, which I shouldn't even have to say this, like, like the mascara we make that I just say to you with our mascara. Oh, by the way, in our mascara, we don't put glue in it. Do I really have to tell you that we don't have in our mascara so we don't put gasoline or petroleum in in our lip balm we put shea butter we put kapua su from the amazon we put takuma from the amazon and argan oil that's what's in this and it's delicious and you don't keep reapplying it because it, it doesn't have gasoline in it petroleum so it doesn't dry out the lips i don't know about you i live in the desert my lips drive me crazy i have keeps to like your lips Keeps my Does this guy love me? So, oh so, Sean, We're family, huh? Sean Overton says, You are amazing, an amazing lady, Suzanne Summers. Sean Overton. But, Sean, listen carefully. Summers is S O M E R. S, not S U M M E R S. Sean, I don't care. I mean, it doesn't I matter, Sean. Sean. Thank you so well, what much. What a beautiful thing to say. Yeah, a beautiful thing to say. And you'll be receiving a brand new Impala. Pardon? <laughs> I think the most important thing in life is to tell the truth. The truth is mesmerizing. And uh, sometimes you can't tell the truth. Figure out who you every are. So often, every so often, you have to. And it's not a lie that changes life or it hurts anybody. Yeah. Sometimes you have to lie, okay? Yeah. I don't know. Like, especially, especially when someone shows us their dog, okay, they pick up their dog, okay? I love dogs, right? 
but there's some dogs. They're all cute. They're, they're, yeah, okay, but it's through the eyes of the beholder. Yeah, okay? like children. So sometimes they pick up their dog and they say, look at this face. Is this not a cute face? Now, I, I, occasionally I have looked at that face and thought, I would not want to open my eyes in the morning <laughs> and see that face staring back at me. I know, but how about... But Peter I lie. I know, how about I... Peter Mahler's dog? Parker? Oh, yeah, but then I lie. Peter, okay. had, Peter, unfortunately, Parker died last year, but Parker was this big, oversized bulldog that you just love. And Parker would sleep, great. sleep under the covers Peter, the two of them would get into bed together, like <laughs> two people, and he would send me pictures of the two of them. Oh my God, that was the sweetest. Hey, look what's, dogs, by the way. what's happening outside here? Are expensive, are really. Like I said to Peter, he now got a new puppy, a whole puppy. I said, so how much was your puppy? He said, $7,500. What? I know. And I remember when we, uh, we had to buy Gloria, who was $400, was raised in a trailer. I said, she's trailer trash. Yeah, but then it cost. <laughs> and I, even that I thought was a lot because I grew up with a cat who had kid, kittens regularly uh, once a year. She'd knock out six of them and we couldn't give those kittens away. Did you, you, know? did you throw them in the river? You can go to any, you can go to so many foundations that where you can adopt a dog and it doesn't cost anything. And there's so, so many who need adoption. The breads, they're expensive. Yeah, I guess, and I guess bulldogs are the big rage right now because Peter was walking his new seventy-five hundred dollar puppy. I think I think it was only seventy seventy-two hundred. You know, these these dogs get stolen, and I thought, really, how weird. Well, Lady, Lady Gaga's dogs were just were, were they were they bulldogs? They were kidnapped. Yeah. Then they Wasn't got them that back. Terrible that her dog got shot. That's got awesome. shot, and the dogs stolen. And I mean, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, I guess got them back, but she offered a half a million dollars as well. You could have a jade roller. For less than half a million. I know. Okay. Is it really jade? Is it really jade, Caroline? Um, no. Well, yeah, wait, wait. Well, now that you said that necklace is $30,000, yeah. you have No, no, but the, no, no. Jade no, no, no. no. When, when we go to when we go to New Mexico, they have jade that they sell on the street. Okay, yeah. it's not three thousand dollars. Even they, like this, it's still it was in the freezer, but now it's kind of you know there's not jade as old, and then there's jade. Feels good. What? What? Who? Say, Al? I don't know. What'd you say? Nothing important. Everything. So many people are writing in that they love these rollers. So you know these these rollers oh. you use them to help with puffiness oh, or keep some circulation. It. So you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Yeah. This is what you do. This is what you do in the morning. One of the things I love, one of the many, many things I love about aging, and I do, and I talk about that all the time. Oh, that's such a pretty bracelet. Um, is our mornings are sacred to us. What's that? Our mornings are sacred. Oh. We love our mornings. What are they? Nothing. It's just that's when you hang out in bed and watch the morning shows. Like when you're watching the Today Show, take your jade roller and rub, rub it under your eye here and take away that puffiness. And then put the bioactive moisturizer on and while you're watching, you know, Al Roker, you just do this and you do that. And then you do a little iPhone and, and then Big Al brings you Big Al's coffee. I love our morning so much. I know. And so when my, my day gets scheduled too tight because until I have full, full feeling back in this arm and uh, I have absolutely no aches in my body from my neck and back surgery, which I still can't believe uh, that I went through that, um, I have physical therapy every other day. Lately I've been doing it. You, you've gone through it and it's great. And so great. You're 95%. Yeah, and when I'm on, uh, I'm 95%, when I'm on Dr. Oz, is that this Friday? Carolina on Dr. Oz? Uh, I have to get the exact date. I think I was told it would be at the end of this week, so yeah. that's, that's My feeling is it's Friday, but anyway, I love Dr. Oz and he loves me. We're good friends. And he said, he said, tell me about breaking your neck and your spine. Well, what was unusual, mm -hmm. you got a neck transplant. 
What does that mean? Well, you somebody else's neck. They took somebody else's neck. It's like it's like an organ is this transplant. Lying? <laughs> lying okay, well you I thought know, this is second lie. Well, this show. could be you know. It's a lot of lies in one show. Could, <laughs> I mean, this could be this could be like in the forefront of 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 American surgery, a neck transplant. But think, this is our lies. No, but think of all the people who have, have a fixed neck. No, but think all the people. Have bad necks, okay? And if you said to them, "You want a better neck? We can give you an 18-year-old neck." Down the road, neck down the road down, these new printers—they can do anything. That's like. right. I am so lucky. The doctor who did my neck and spine surgery saved my life. I had a terrible fall. For those of you who don't know, you know. But did you ever think that when when he was doing the neck surgery, you would say, "By the way, since the neck." in the back is open. If you could just like... Oh, I wish I thought of it. Right. I, I, it all happened so fast, I didn't realize I could have got a, like a neck lift. Shoot. Right. I know. But anyway, I'm so glad. This guy saved my life. And I didn't realize yeah. that when you break your, your neck and your spine, uh, uh, my doctor told me I was this close to being a complete quadriplegic. And I, when she told me that, it was so sobering. Yeah. And I thought, how lucky I am. Yeah. And I almost have full mobility back. And I know it's from doing this uh, physical therapy. I take it very seriously. I've always eaten right. I think the reason I'm healing so well is that I've eaten so well. And, um, and also you have uh, and you, your best friend with you. Always. Alan has been so great. <laughs> In the first months of the recovery of what I've gone through, I needed I needed him to help me do everything, everything. He did it so selflessly and so loving. It was an honor. And so giving. That's part of the deal, mm. right? In honor, in in what, what's the what's the expression? In life and in health. And, yeah, that, yeah. We say it, but when when the time comes, wow. No, that's it's part a of wow. the deal. I, I couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. And the love of my family and Caroline is an incredible support for me and Bruce and Leslie. And you know, I I, I I thought that the best part was when I, I was undressing you, but I found that I liked dressing you as much in a different way. That's so great. No, really, <laughs> really, yeah. Weird ass family, Caroline. <laughs> I know. Hey, Al is different. You, uh, all of you who now watch us times a week, you have to realize that Al is different. Okay. He lies, but he's not really lying. Here's the deal. And the reality, can I just say one thing about you? Certainly. The reality about Alan, I have never known him to tell a lie. Not a real lie. <laughs> not a real lie. I, I haven't. Yeah, I, well, that's because I don't care. It is yeah, what it is. Don't, if it's don't. if it's the truth, show them. live with it. Okay, here's the deal. This is our subscription series. Suzanne selects thirty nine ninety. What is it? Thirty nine ninety nine. Okay, Forty bucks, and the retail value is never less than one hundred and twenty five dollars. And sometimes it's up to two hundred and something dollars. Okay. Yeah. This is such a deal. This is really a great deal. You can order for every month, every two months, every three or just order one of them, whatever you want to do. I cleaned a closet today. Oh, no, I didn't clean a closet. No. I cleaned a section of the equipment room. Well, that's exciting. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I brought everything outside. You know where the fire pit is, Caroline? Yeah. From yes. what? Yes. You don't know, Suzanne's equipment room is like when we say I cleaned up my attic or I cleaned up my garage. That's what her equipment room is. Oh, here. my God. It's where, when you don't know where to put it, put it in the equipment room. Oh, so I awful. took one section and brought it all outside and went to it. And you're going to be so happy you're coming down tomorrow. There's a box for you. That's going to make you very happy. And I have some instructions for you with it. If there are things in there that I have been photographed in, and there are, you may not, you may not give them away. You may auction them off with the picture of me in that dress or, or keep it. I don't I don't care, but you may not give it away because I think what 
I've been photographed in something, I think you have to place another value on it. That's right. And then, and, and then, and then you just send a check. Yeah, send a whatever, check. Whatever send, yeah, send, send a check to the Allen Hamill Driveway oh, Fund. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's so nice of you. I appreciate that. Um, just so you know, guys, uh, I'm going down to Palm Springs tomorrow because Suzanne has a super exciting launch. Yeah. Brand new launch of a brand new product that um, we've been that we've been waiting for months for this. Um, well, I guess we can just tell them the name, Suzanne. It's called Immune, Immune Support. Support. And Suzanne has oh, been yeah. waiting. Oh so yeah. That's coming tomorrow night at 5 p.m. So no what, in, what is more important in today in this environment right. than strengthening your immune system? What you can do is with your gut renew, you put two scoops of the gut renew into your smoothie. You can take immune support. You can do it differently. We'll tell you about that tomorrow. But you can also take immune support and put a spoon of that in with your gut renew and get it handled. I, yeah, or you can put it in water or sparkling water. Yeah. It's delicious. Our immune systems are under attack. What a great way to get your immune health. Yeah, you our immune systems are under attack. attack. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, I had this thought today. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. No. Go ahead. No. Um, I was, actually it was this morning, our sacred morning. So I'm, I'm lying there. Was that before or after? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm watching the Today Show. Or during. I've got my iPhone. I've got my Bial's coffee. I've got my Gut Renew smoothie. And I thought, it's about this one. Not about the one before, the one after. I think what we have to, because these are hard times. I think what we have to do is, the moment you're in right now, the one I'm in with you right now, the one that we're all, we're, Communing together right now, just think about how you feel right now. Not later tonight, not earlier today, just right now. It's nice, isn't it? And keep feeding your soul with that kind of positive energy of all that matters is the moment right now. And so that's how I started my day today, with that mantra and that meditation. And it's lasted through the whole day. And it works. It works. We're in control of everything, but we have to to uh, we ha we have to program our brains to be positive and uplifting and grateful. Gratitude is every everything. Gratitude is everything. Everything. I love these um, commercials that are on they're called Pass It On. And they're oh, yeah. I was watching yeah. today on kindness. And it was on a, a bus, and there was this old, old, decrepit woman who made her way onto the bus, and there was a younger guy sitting there with his headphones in, and he was sitting in his seat, and the old woman was hanging on, and the bus was doing this. All of a sudden, the younger man looked up, and he stood up, and he said to the woman, would you like my seat? And she said, I know, but that's the way it's always been. That's, I mean, I was surprised. It's been lost in No, when I saw the guy. The guy was probably, I don't know, 20. Yeah. I mean, that's, I, you know, so I mean, important. my mother. You've always been like that. My mother taught me when a lady walks into the room, stand up. Yeah, I okay? Know. When a lady is getting into a car and you could open her door, do that. Yeah. When you can open any other door, yeah. do that. When you can pull up the chair behind her when she's sitting down at the I, table. I mean, come on. I know. And that is, I love a return to that. That is like considered like. Woke and all that. No, but, but, no, but think about it. Like no, but this. think about all the uh, organizations that uh, are you know promoting women. Okay, mm -hmm. the reality is that women are it. I mean, they're like that's where we all come from. Without women, there are no people. Okay, women that's, are awesome. That's where we come from. Women are awesome. Plus and plus and plus and. Us. Yeah. So, uh, the, he, I think what women like about you so much is you love women. I love women. He does. And my mother, he my, had a great relationship with his mother. My mother, my mother taught yeah. me how to waltz and how to, how to do waltz. the polka. How to waltz and do the polka. I think it's amazing, and I don't think feminists are, I don't think they're appalled by chivalry. I think feminists love chivalry. It's, you know, when it's done, when it's done with good intentions, 
Absolutely. You know, see, that's, there's nothing. Okay, 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 okay. But we have a friend who you've seen on television. He live, He was living in D.C. And uh, he's on television regularly, nationally. I won't mention his name. Uh, you get making me nervous. I'm not, no, no, I'm not mentioning his name. But he moved to D.C. with his wife and his children from another state because he was working a lot in D.C. And he put his uh, sons into a private school. And one day he got a call from, I guess, the principal who wanted a meeting. And the meeting was about the fact that yeah. one of his sons, and we knew we met his sons. Such a fine young man. Really incredible kids, young men, okay? Because one of the young men, one of his sons, had opened the door for a young lady, and she complained about it. And the principal decided to make something of it. He that took makes his, no sense at all. He took his kids out of the school and move back to the state, their home state. You're right, you're right here a lot, it makes no sense. Okay. Yeah, it makes no sense. It's a crazy the, the, shit. The concept of humans being is to respect one another and to take care of one another. And I think the hardest thing about this pandemic is that we humans are conditioned to connect, to hug, to kiss, to caress, to, we want, we want that, that human connection. I think the hardest thing about what we're all going through is that um, we've got to rub elbows. That doesn't feel as I don't as do that. This. I don't do and, that. And um, you can't hug one another because that's dangerous and God, I miss it. I so miss it. But we're making a lot of progress, and we love that you come on three times a week and just keep us company and give us something happy to think Great. about. Great. We love this huge discount on your Suzanne Flex spots. Yeah. yeah. And we're actually, it's actually past six now, so. Oh, wow. Suzanne's, Suzanne's okay. back tomorrow night, guys. It's Tuesday at okay. 5 p.m. All right. Um, I love it. I love it. Immune support. We do not have as much immune support as we have got because it's a brand new product. If you're interested, please come check it out and buy early. Um, if you like it, we will continue ordering. Okay. I lo love you all, and um, I love you, Caroline. I love you, Alan. I love you, too. And I'll see you tomorrow, Caroline. I'll see you all tomorrow if you come. And um, I think you'll be interested in this immune support. It's like it doesn't... And also the seminar. Don't forget and the seminar. All the seminar. It's your friends and all the, all these amazing doctors from around the world. From around yeah, so the world. Dr. The dog is, is going to speak for about an hour, and then Suzanne will be on for about thirty minutes. So she's a special guest tomorrow. Wait till you hear. And I've interviewed Dr. Bertog in at least three of my books. Wait till you hear what he has to say and what he has to teach you. It, it's really really worthwhile so caroline you'll have that all posted right yes i've been posting it throughout the show um, okay. as well okay. and i will post it on suzanne's okay. accounts okay. so that you have it okay, okay. good night everybody i'm gonna go love you guys later.